activist Steve Beaker will soon be relived, but on stage this time. The Joburg Theatre has put together a production on Beaker's writings, his legacy, and, and then his untimely death. The black consciousness movement leader died in police detention on the 12th of September 1977. To tell us more about the piece entitled Biko, we are joined in studio by the writer and director, Makala Ndebele, and uh, also in studio we've got Katlejo Lesholonyana, who is one of the cast members. Good to have both of you. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you for having us. So yeah, it's nice that we had Nkosanaiti here talking about the lecture that's taking place, and now there's a play that's coming on at the Joburg Theatre. Yes. Um, how have you incorporated music and performance all in a way to tell the life of Steve Biko? Um, well, we, we, it's, it's, it's who we've put together. It's really a collaboration. Um, we have two actors, two musicians and a performance artist. And we thought, um, um, how could these different artists come together and reflect upon the life and the works of Steve Biko? So we took a couple of um, 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 quotes of his. Um, mainly talking about um, consciousness and, and how, um, how far are we in the journey to realizing our, our envisioned self, which is a free self. And if we're still in bondage, does that mean we're not conscious yet or fully conscious of who we are? Mm. So we started out with those ideas and then um, brought together the different artists to reflect upon the ideas and then develop uh, a play and a performance around that. Fantastic. Now, Katlejo, you're one of the cast members. True. Talk to me about your role. Where do you fit into the whole picture? Um, I know people are expecting to see Steve Vico yes. throughout the entire play, but it's not that. So we are reflecting, just like my director has said, we are reflecting on are we in South Africa living in time where Steve Biko had imagined it, you know, and so my role in this play is a little bit of snippets where I play Steve Biko and many other characters. Okay. Yeah. When you look back at his writings, and obviously you've had to, to learn them, read them, live them all over again, what was it like, I mean, to just to, to go back to this, this great mind? And I'm not going to lie, this is only the time when I was cast in this play where I get really to, uh, get to focus on his work, wow. you know what I mean? And I, I feel like it's, 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 it's a great experience also. And um, I, I get to see where we are as a South African youth. And I get to be open-minded about stuff, you know? I mean, one of the favorite quotes uh, of his is um, we have to remove, we have to take out the concept of fear completely from our vocabulary. And um, um, it's, it's, it's just a great experience. It's profound, it really is. Mahala, I think that what Katlejo is saying here is mm. not, it's not an isolated incident because a lot of, a lot of the youth are only being introduced to Steve Biko's writings now and some have never ever had the opportunity to read it or perhaps have just not, you know, not, not wanted to. But now it's, it's there, it's been spoken about, it's, it's available. And to put a production like this together, what are you hoping audiences get out of it? And A, the, the message of black consciousness to the youth of today, what is it? Um, well, I think um, it, it's, it's really to say that it begins with the self. Um, is that uh, youth, it, it's, it's, a, it's about in, instilling confidence, instilling imagination into the youth so that they, they are able to envision a different country to the one that we live in. And um, it's, it's really to say, I mean, I, I think in the earlier interview with Gosnati, it was alluded to that the, that generation is almost 70, two yeah. year, 70 yeah. years now. 70, 70. And it's, it's then how do the, these ideas live through the youth and then what are we doing about it as the, as the different generations? And so, so that you get a sense of uh, a country moving forward rather than a static uh, a sort of country and uh, static ideas. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's valuable in the sense that it just, it's about each individual giving confidence to the self and then through, through that instilling confidence and imagination into the, ne the, the, the next people. Guys, thank you. Thank you for being with us. I know you're going to give us a snippet to play us out, so I want to quickly take a break so that we have enough time. The production Beacon will be running at the Joburg Theatre from the 20th of September until the 5th of October. Get your tickets. We take a break and we say goodbye with a snippet from the performance. Stay tuned.